is Ernest Holloway, and welcome to Ask a Developer. The first question is from Arsal, and his question is, as an Android developer, why should I learn anything outside of Java? I think to best answer that question is that you first have to be able to look at the requirements for the particular company that you're working with. As an example, if you're going to be writing an Android application that is very dependent on a lot of the hardware features that are offered, or there are advanced animations that you're trying to do, it may make sense to be able to go with the native approach. However, if you're working with a company and their goal is to be able to have a single code base that can be distributed across multiple platforms, then it may make better sense to be able to go with an HTML5 or CSS3 or, or some other type of web technology in order to implement that software. Our next question comes from Siobhan. And his question is, if I choose web versus native technology, what impact is that going to have on the user experience for the platform that I'm developing for? So I think that with this question is very similar to the first question is that it all depends on a number of things based on the requirements that, the, that your company deems. As an example, if you are trying to develop a, uh, an application that is very much um, tied to using advanced hardware features, or if you want to do advanced animation, or you're trying to do very advanced things with OpenGLs uh, for, for 3D-based graphics, at that point it may make better sense to be able to go with a native approach so that you have full access to those capabilities. On the other hand, if you're trying to develop a piece of software that is going to be deployed across multiple platforms where you don't have these strong dependencies on the hardware, then you can leverage web technology such as HTML5 and CSS3 to be able to um, have one source code and develop to many different platforms. That's all the time that we have for Ask a Developer. If you have any more questions, please feel free to tweet at hashtag AskADev or simply post them in the comments section.